Is it safe to climb Kilimanjaro? We understand you have many choices when it comes to Kilimanjaro guide services, but when selecting an operator, your safety should take precedence over any other consideration. Beware of companies that downplay the potential dangers of high altitude trekking. They are more focused on selling you a trip than helping you make an informed decision. Hi, I'm Kevin with Ultimate Kilimanjaro, and in this video, I'll examine what dangers you may face while climbing Kilimanjaro and what we do to minimize those risks. Acute Mountain Sickness Anyone who travels to high altitude is subject to altitude-related illnesses. The most common illness is acute mountain sickness, also known as altitude sickness. The leading cause of AMS is ascending to a high elevation too quickly and not allowing the body sufficient time to acclimatize or adapt to the lower oxygen levels. Most people who climb Kilimanjaro will experience one or more symptoms of altitude sickness at some point in their journey. The symptoms of mild AMS include headache, nausea and dizziness, loss of appetite, fatigue, shortness of breath, disturbed sleep, and a general feeling of malaise. As long as symptoms remain mild, it's generally acceptable for that person to continue climbing. However, if AMS becomes moderate or severe, clients will be turned around. The best treatment for AMS is also the most accessible treatment, descent. Anyone who climbs Kilimanjaro should be well aware of the symptoms of AMS. Altitude Medication There are several medications that can be used to prevent and treat altitude sickness. The most popular drug is Diamox, also known as acetazolamide. It is the standard medical prophylaxis agent for AMS. It works by increasing your breathing rate and thus improving oxygenation. A misconception often heard about Diamox is that it only masks symptoms of AMS. This is false. Diamox does not mask the symptoms of AMS. It is effective in the prevention and treatment of AMS and has FDA approval for this use. Most travel clinics will prescribe Diamox to you in preparation for your trip to Kilimanjaro. Safety Precautions High altitude trekking is inherently risky. It's the nature of being on such a tall, expansive mountain such as Kilimanjaro, situated far away from medical facilities. Total safety can never be guaranteed by anyone. Deaths can and do occur on the mountain. Many companies that operate on Kilimanjaro are not capable of handling life-threatening emergencies. When you choose to climb with Ultimate Kilimanjaro, you are literally entrusting us with your life. That fact is not lost on me. I and the Ultimate Kilimanjaro staff take your health and safety very seriously. We have a comprehensive safety system that was co-developed with the knowledge and expertise of professional mountaineers, western doctors, and altitude experts. For starters, all of our guides are certified wilderness first responders, meaning they're trained to respond to emergency situations in remote locations. Visit our website for more details on our comprehensive list of our safety protocols. Daily Health Checks The cornerstone of our health and safety program is the daily health check. Ultimate Kilimanjaro guides will measure and record your oxygen saturation and heart rate twice per day. This is done with a device known as a pulse oximeter, which uses a light beam to estimate the oxygen in your blood. The oxygen saturation and pulse readings over a period of time can give an indication of how well a person is acclimatizing. Our guides will also ask you specific questions in accordance with a questionnaire known as the Lake Louise Scoring System, LLSS. LLSS was created as a tool to evaluate the degree of AMS someone might or might not have. By conducting these health checks, our guides have a written record of how you're doing throughout your trip. It's just one tool we use to keep you safe on the mountain. Another thing our guides do is simply observe. By getting the feel of your habits and behavior on the lower slopes, they can tell when a change occurs, possibly due to altitude sickness. Kilimanjaro Rescue in the event of an emergency on the mountain, Ultimate Kilimanjaro guides are trained to take swift action. Because of our established protocols, there's never any question on how to best resolve an issue. Whether it's a sprained ankle, hypothermia, exhaustion, or altitude sickness, our guides are capable of getting you to safety. 
we can coordinate our rescue from anywhere in the park. On the mountain, our teams carry bottled oxygen on every climb. Oxygen can be used to treat AMS in conjunction with rapid descent. Additionally, we can initiate helicopter evacuation through a third-party service known as Kili Med Air. When you climb Kilimanjaro, it's important that you understand the risks of being at high altitude in a remote location. While it's impossible to remove all danger, you can certainly minimize it. Many operators appear to be great if everything goes well, but when life-threatening situations arise, the vast majority of companies are not trained or equipped to handle medical emergencies. The truth is, the standards that Western clients expect in terms of safety are not the norm for Kilimanjaro expeditions. That's why it's imperative that you choose an experienced, safety-focused operator like Ultimate Kilimanjaro, which practices comprehensive, practical, and effective safety protocols. Our number one priority is to make sure you return home safely. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit our site for everything you need to know about climbing Kilimanjaro. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the summit.